Today's pre-workout of choice, C450X AC Blue Raz. In case you guys are wondering, I also use this C4, normal C4, strawberry margarita. I used to always use this, but I ran out and I'm only keeping the container because it looks cool. I like the G4 style. <laughs> On my way to the gym right now, I'm going to get a push workout. Uh, I've never specifically done a push workout before, and I don't know what it entails other than like movements of a push. So this should be interesting. Uh, if you guys are not making this channel to, I guess, learn and grow along with you guys, so you guys are gonna be learning. You guys don't know what a push workout is. You're gonna be learning that today with me. So let's go. So that's the chest, that's the push workout? That's the heavy one, yeah. And then there's we got a five rep max, Whoa. a bench assistance. Are you recording it? Yeah, because oh. so, so they know, oh, so they know. You. What is that, three sets of eight to 12 reps for almost each of them? You said we we're doing like five rep max. I'm not ready, man, are you ready for this? I'm not, <laughs> I never, I've never done a, a, a push like this. So, this should be interesting. What is going on guys, Elmer here back with another video on Training Gain Fitness. I'm trying to do weekly uploads now, just to make it more consistent. And as you can see from the title of this video and in that last clip, we're doing a push workout today. Uh, first we started off with some flat bench, warmed up with just the bar, then moved on to 135. I wasn't exactly counting the reps for this one. Um, my mistake was just I was too into the music. I got these beats, they sounded really good, and so I was just too into the music. So I wasn't really counting the reps for this first warm up set of 135. But after that, uh, I decided to move up to my working weight, which is uh, 185. I usually hit this weight when I'm doing a five by five workout. So I just hit, I just did 185 on the bar for about five reps. So I was pretty comfortable. Also, I want to preface the video by just saying uh, I was sore a bit this day because I did a little bit of chest before and I sort of overdid it. And I know I'm not hitting the bar with my chest. I'm not going low enough. I'm aware of that. I'm trying to uh, fix that so I can from now once I can get that full range of motion when it comes to the flat bench, the incline, the decline, and any other chest movements. So after the 185, that seemed a bit easy for me. So Eric and I right there, he was also in the last leg video. You guys go ahead, go ahead and follow him. We decided to move up to 195. The goal was just for one rep, but it was it was it was pretty simple. I, I got it. I mean, I may have not touched my chest, but instead of just one, I got it for two, and then I started to get another one. I got it for three. The third one was a grinder, but I still got it. And so after this, we were just conversating, saying, you know, I really want to hit you know 225 one day. And they just go, you know what? Let's try it. Let's you know go for 225. See what you want to work towards. See you know what the weight feels like. And here, you get, yep, just like I said, 225. I'm getting pumped up right here because I'm I really want to try and get this even if it's just you know I can't get it up but he's helping me out Brian in the back right there um, so I tried to get it and as you're gonna see I kind of failed um, I'm sure if I was fresh that day I would be able to get it for at least once uh, one rep um, but now I know what to work towards I want to be able to hit this by the end of 2015 I know it's a pretty long goal and I'm pretty sure I can get that you know, um, done within a couple weeks, but I want to be able to do this sort of comfortably. I want to be able to have this be my working weight. And so since I couldn't get that, the, uh, we all decided to just have me bump down to 205 so I can try and at least hit that, um, or I'm sorry, break that 200 pound barrier. And I got actually 205 for not one, but for two reps. The form wasn't that great on the last one, um, but at least I got it, like I said. Um, I want to be able to work on my form when it comes to this stuff, so at least I know what to work towards and what my goals are, and I know what to achieve. Once we were done with the chest movements right on the bench, we decided to move over to some dips. Uh, I have my legs in front of me, so it keeps my back straight. We did three sets of 8 to 12 reps on dips. I believe we were just watching the first set here, um, and that was pretty much it. This next exercise is actually pretty interesting. Um, you guys may see it as just a 
tricep pull down but what it actually is is what i like to call a pyramid pull down so of course it's a tricep pull down but we're starting off at 42 and a half pounds doing eight reps but dropping the weight to 30 pounds doing eight reps drop it down to 20 doing eight drop it to 10 and then do another eight and then once you're done with that eight eight reps on the 10 pound gonna pump it back up to 20 do five 30 do five and then 42 and a half and do five i personally when i was first told about this i didn't think it was gonna be that difficult i believe you're watching the second set here so i was pretty burned out already from doing these and the dips so they're actually pretty good moving i'm gonna try and implement them more in my workout uh, just to get my, you know bigger arms and bigger triceps and yeah i mean it's a really good exercise um you guys can try it out if you guys don't have like 42 and a half uh weight on the pull down machine just work with what you got work with the 40 work with the 45 30 if that's all you can do i don't want you guys to hurt yourself trying this out it's just my thing i like doing it now and you know you can see i'm getting a little a pretty good pump right here and so it's it's really paying off the next movement that we did was just some uh pec deck flies you can see right here uh, i'm sort of having my hands scoop out because i feel a bit a bit more of a contraction when i have my hands a little bit higher than the uh grips on the pec deck i believe this was 160 and we also did about 8 to 12 reps whenever i know i'm not going to be able to hit the uh the target goal of 12 reps i just usually grind out break even and do 10 reps each time and as you can see right there on my arm yes i have a tan line i drive a lot uh, i know someone's going to comment that in the comments down below uh, i drive a lot and so that's my sort of arm that is like right next to the window when i drive i really don't like that but you know what can you do hopefully for the fall it'll go away right and i to comment down below if you have that same problem too because i know i can't be the only one <laughs> so get another set like i said three sets eight to twelve reps on the pec deck flies i think this one only hit eight because i was pretty burned out and so the next movement is the uh shoulders we just did a little bit of shoulders first we did some front shoulder raises did about eight to twelve reps on each of them uh, i just did 20 pounds because i sort of have a little bit of a shoulder problem and i don't like to overexert myself by going heavy and if i do go heavy i make sure i have a spot or i'm on a machine or something like that just you know playing it smart bro science call it whatever you want but that's just me so first three sets eight to twelve reps on the front shoulder raises whatever you guys want to call them and then we did another to finish off the workout eight to twelve reps for side lateral raises i'm really trying to focus on the size of my shoulders so i'm really trying to work on the side raises for the shoulders as well i have a bit of a lean forward so i know that the um so i don't so the weights don't hit my waist whenever I, they come back down and i'm also focusing on lifting with my elbows when it comes to a movement like this so it's pretty much the workout uh, if you guys want to follow me on social media so you can keep up with behind the scenes and everything like that everything will be in the description down below subscribe if you haven't comment down below some other push workouts you guys want me to try out and i will talk to you guys later peace post workout some fried chicken no some fried rice and chicken some shrimp sushi egg rolls dumplings and vegetables so good my mouth is watering and then some sriracha whatever the hell this is for sides hope you enjoyed